maybe more he goes, maybe I'm a Well, go over the break-in procedure of a 2023 Yamaha Super Jet. So we're gonna let it start it and let it out of idle for five minutes on the trailer. If I don't fall and bust my ass on this altitude on this ramp. Well, the good thing about going from a two-stroke to a four-stroke is it's gonna start. Yeah. say you could race pro ski no problem just to be able to stand <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right guys we're gonna get this get this break here started we're gonna ride around about 30 minutes on my knees i've not rode a stand-up jet ski since probably 1994 95 uh they say this thing's more stable i'm used to uh, the 550s, the first jet we ever rode was the 79 400. It's a classic, it was a yellow ski. But uh, I've not rode any of the new skis. And uh, I've been on runabouts ever since. So I think to see what this, what this is gonna do. It's got a fuel gauge, it's got a low power mode. But uh, it's gonna get started here and see how it goes. Is your ring tight enough to where it won't come off? Yeah, it ain't coming out. And should be able to get on this from my head and uh, balance myself. On the 550s, I couldn't do that. It's not as buoyant as I thought, ski and it's a lot different than what I thought it would be uh, having kind of the same issues I was having with the dirt bike out there I'm favoring that one side due to the hip and uh, but hopefully riding this will uh, help me get better with that I noticed when you give it more throttle if you're I couldn't get on plane very much because the RPMs I was needing to run and where I wasn't able to get on plane, it was like I was favoring to fall to my left. But uh, as I rode and kept riding, uh, if I get on plane a little bit and give it a little bit more throttle around the turns, everything was starting to come back to me and I started to feel it a little bit better. But everything is stock on this. I've not touched uh, any of the steering components. You can adjust. This steering cable right here, move it to the outside hole and it's supposed to quicken the steering up. Right now, 
it seems quick enough for me. I may want to do that after I get more used to it. And I would say that these stock bars is definitely going to have to, to go away. And we're going to have to go with the zero degree bar setup that's going to move these bars forward. But uh, yeah, I'm real happy with the ski. Just trying to take it easy with getting the brake in done on it. And How's, how's the throttle response at low speed? It, it's kind of iffy if it's, if it's real low speed. It's kind of, uh, kind of a little laggy, but once, once you get up in more of the mid part of it, it, it wants to snap a little better. It, it, it's a three cylinder. I had the Yamaha MT-09 street bike and it, it, I can definitely feel some of the characteristics of the, the engine behavior in it. I don't, you know, I'm not sure if it's the same engine or not, but the MT-09 was a three-cylinder. Uh, it's definitely got the light feeling, and it hasn't lost any of the play, playfulness of uh, the 550. I don't think uh, we're going to lose anything on that and going to the four-stroke and having to deal with uh, issues with tuning carburetors and things that we've always had to deal with with that it's just going to be a lot easier oil changes won't have to be we're going to do a 10 hour oil change after this is over with and uh, then it's every 50 hours after that so that's going to be a lot easier to deal with so these jet skis should, should last a lot longer if that before being rebuilt or anything so that's a good thing but as far as how it kicks out, I don't know yet on how easy it slides out and things like that. Like I said, it's still got stock rock, drive plate, everything's stock. Yeah, nothing, nothing's been changed. I'm real happy with it so far. Just uh, got to get myself used to, used to the ski. Uh, going to be a jet ski journey. It took a long time to get back here. Yep, that was a long, long time ago when the land far, far away. You ain't that much older. I'm old enough to know better. <laughs> well, guys, I'm going to put some gloves on. Them grips is already starting to cut me. I've been wiping some blood off my knuckle right there. Dad's going up to the house and going to get me some gloves I got up there, see if that helps. But I knew those grips was going to be pretty rough. Definitely want to get that steering system when I can and get some ODI grips on it. But uh, just try to get used to it. I really like the ski though. Glad to be back home and doing what I've always wanted to do. These things has been like a unicorn to try to buy. I don't know. You can't find them nowhere. So I was fortunate to find this one. Uh, I found it in Hendersonville, North Carolina at a place called Brewer Cycles. Uh, the salesman name was Ralph and uh, he helped me out. It was uh, pretty good to work with. And uh, they had a really good inventory of jet skis, motorcycles. They had all kinds of KTM dirt bikes. So uh, check Brewer Cycles out, get a chance. Uh, if you're having trouble finding inventory, Hendersonville, North Carolina, Brewer Cycles. Well, guys, final thoughts on the Super Jet. Uh, really enjoyed the ride today it has a lot different handling characteristics than any of the other skis i've ever rode uh, we got a lot more power uh, maybe do some sponsons later help with it definitely going to do a spring for the pole it's a little bit heavy and uh, this old man's whipped 
tired after riding this thing for about an hour and a half today trying to break it in but uh, we're we'll going to get it covered up and we'll catch you on the next one